Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Do you see the sun? Oh my gosh, it already feels so good outside. My car says it's 53, but there's no wind blowing and it just feels awesome out there. So how is the weather where you're located at? It is absolutely beautiful here today. We got rain coming in it's tonight or tomorrow night. I can't remember right now. It's supposed to rain all the way up to Saturday. I am so sick of this rain. <sighs> and I saw my people showing pictures of Tennessee and the flooding they've got. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Tim and Amy Show. <laughs> it's um, Papa and Amy Show today. <laughs> Y'all, this is how I start my morning every single day. This big lug has got to come plant his butt in, well, yeah, I can't say in my lap because he's not in my lap. He always gets behind me. He's moved right here now. But this is every day. <laughs> Good morning to you. I hope y'all had a wonderful night. And I am going to finish my video from yesterday. I started it on the road. Which y'all have already seen. And so I'm going to finish it today. Just getting motivated right now. I'm trying to finish my caveman coffee and a snuggle buggle with this big lug. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm a hot mess right now. This is a hot freaking mess. <laughs> Y'all, this is real life. Amy's sitting here with her doggy. Uh, still in PJs, wrapped up in my whatever you call this thing is staying warm anyway and no makeup hair ain't dead I mean <sighs> y'all <laughs> he's got to give his suckers <laughs> bye bye <stop. laughs> oh my gracious All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this hot mess right here is going to finish drinking her caveman coffee and go brush this head and and get dressed. Whew. I got stuff to show you. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. <laughs> Y'all, I have got to show you the finds that I got. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all, I have seen this on several, several um, YouTube channels where they're seasoning stuff. And they always talked about getting it from Trader Joe's. Sometime I had an advertisement on my Facebook that... Lidl was now carrying it. So, uh, when I went to go see Tim yesterday, I said, mm-hmm, I gotta go see if they got it, because I want to try this uh, miracle seasoning that everybody's using. <laughs> Here it is, y'all. I hope there's no glare. Everything bagel. Look at all that mess in there. Look, 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 look. There's the back for anybody that wants to see that. So, one of these days I'm going to try that stuff. Right now I'm limited, sort of, kind of, on what I'm putting on my stuff. I'm, mm, I'm kind of doing dirty carnivore because when you just do regular carnivore, it's like, what? Salt, pepper, water, and that's it? 
meat, salt, pepper, water. So I guess, you know, along with me, I was doing dirty lazy keto. Now I'm doing dirty carnivore. Because I tell you, I'm going to have some kind of seasoning on my meat. Yeah. All right. Let's get off of that. My next find while I was at Aldi, um, I went past the meat section. And in my area, they usually run $1.99 a pound. And I'm talking about boneless, skinless chicken breast. Yesterday was the last day of the sale. And uh, so I ran back to the Lidl after I got through um, having lunch with Tim. And picked up some boneless, skinless chicken breast. You were limited to 15 pounds. So technically that was like three packs. Now... Listen, listen carefully. I didn't do this because I don't have any freezer room here right now. But if I did, I would have done this. Go buy your 15 pounds worth. Go put it in the car. Go back in. Go buy your 15 more pounds worth. You could do that over and over. They cannot stop you from doing that. Because it's a new purchase. Hint, hint, hint to anybody who did not know that. Yeah. So, boneless, skinless chicken breast says a dollar thirty-nine a pound. This was a dollar eighty-nine a pound. When you go up to the register, then they take off the difference. So each pack was like five bucks. Score! Hello, that was awesome. So anyway, I got three packs. I knocked y'all the heck over. I got three packs here. So I got to get those separated and throw in the freezer somewhere. Uh, uh, somewhere. I don't know how in the heck I'm going to get them in there. Something's got to leave my freezer in order to put that in there. Hmm. Y'all don't understand. Not having my other refrigerator freezer going has been a mess. I can't stock up nothing. And being I'm on Carnivore and I find these great deals, I need better. I need more room. Because that was an awesome deal. And of course, last weekend, it rained like no tomorrow, it seemed like. And they had a deal at our local grocery store for the 73% hamburger for $1.59 a pound, unlimited. And I couldn't get any. One, I didn't have room. Two, the rain. I won't get out in it. So, my next couple ventures. I was at the local grocery store that I always go to at the food line. And I scanned my MVP card. And they had a dollar off of the laundry detergent. I had like two pods left. And that was it. I was running out. And my dear sweet husband... Let's see. And my dear sweet mother, <laughs> she always uses a gain, and he loves the smell of her house and linens and all that when he goes over there. And so, I used to make my own laundry detergent, and now all he wants is the gain pods. And I'm like, Tim. I could make my own laundry detergent and put those little pebbles in there and it'd be the same thing. Oh no. Gotta be just like my mama. <laughs> of course, I have nothing wrong with that because I love my mama. Anyway, so I got that pack right there for $3.99. It was a dollar off, so I got it for $3.99. Usually, you can get more than one per coupon. Oh, no. Not on that. So, they had another one with a dollar off. So, I said, I'll get that one. Here we go. Tide Pods. <laughs> you know the Tide Pod commercial? And these were a dollar off also. So, same price. So, that was awesome. So, I'm... 
good with laundry detergent for a few minutes anyway. Y'all, my freezer's jam packed full. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Do not judge. That's hamburger and the bottom in the bottom and in the back are my 60 pounds of collards that I had. Um, there's some chicken broth over there. I'm trying to look here instead of it, y'all, so I can see what I got. I got pork chops, chicken wings, my ribeye steaks that I got that were $4.99 a pound. It was a whole ribeye. So I got um, the grocery store at the Piggly Wiggly here uh, to cut it. Their economy ribeyes are usually $4.99 a pound, which is awesome. And, of course, I got my ice trays here. But in the back, there's a pork butt back there. Over here in the back, there is um, green bell peppers that I raised this past summer. And um, I haven't used them because doing this carnivore, I don't eat vegetables. And with keto... I've not been making my spaghetti sauce, so I've not needed my bell peppers. And I love them. And of course, Tim loves spaghetti. <sighs> anyway, uh, one day I'm going to make some spaghetti sauce and use the spaghetti squash because I love spaghetti squash and he does too now. So that's awesome. But, you know, here is the door, y'all. <laughs> and. I'm going to get rid of a few things so that I'll make a little room. I mean, here was chocolate cake. I think I'm going to throw that away. And strawberry butter. Um, I made that this past summer. And it's really, really good. But with the lifestyle that I'm carrying now, I might as well take it out. I'm going to talk to Tim about that. He may want to keep it. I'll just throw it in the refrigerator. And um, I'll just serve him a bunch of uh, strawberry toast. But anyway, that's the story of my freezer situation. We're not going to go hungry for a few minutes anyway. But, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. i got to do some organizations. <laughs> Y'all, it's a mess. It's a mess. I told you. Excuse the view, y'all. Mm. Anyhow. Um, so that's what's going on around my world. Um, it's about... I don't know what time o'clock it is. It's probably 11 o'clock. No desire to eat. None at all. What day is our carnivore today? Did I tell you that already? I think I did, but I don't remember. <sighs> today is carnivore 10. Day 10 of only eating meat, eggs, cheese, and butter. Y'all, I have not lost anything in one week. Nothing. Of course, I've not gotten out and walked much. I've done a little, but not much. I've not eat a whole lot. I've not gone crazy. Yesterday we had a half a chicken a piece. Um, but when the chickens aren't that big, it's not that much. So don't go freaking crazy when I say we ate a half a chicken a piece. Um, and we didn't eat any. I didn't eat any dinner last night. Tim ate chicken sandwiches, which I already told you that. So I'm repeating myself now. But I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. And I don't know that I'm going to bore you anymore today with any of that. So, I'm going to get off of here and watch the freaking rain fall some more. 
I mean it's coming down. It's a wonder little Ruby and Sadie aren't spazzing the heck out. But anyway, I think I'm going to get off of here and uh, I'm going to call it a day. Beans, this is a part two to the video I started yesterday and didn't finish. Y'all, I'm so sorry about that. And uh, y'all have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. Y'all, y'all, I got nine packages. Look at that. I got nine packages out of that chicken. Now I gotta go find a place to put it. Hey, do not forget to mash that bell so you know when I got a video coming. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys to the ones that have. And.